Caddis Maximus here, this time reviewing the Harbor Freight uh, Professional Oxygen Sensor and Diesel Injector Socket Set. This is a, actually a pretty nice socket set, and uh, it's obvious that Harbor Freight uh, found a pretty good vendor because I think this whole set was like 40 bucks or something, uh, and it's really a great value. It comes in actually a pretty nice case. And I do appreciate that. I was going to uh, just put these in the drawer with the rest of the sockets. But I thought uh, since it's a bunch of sensor sockets all together, it's kind of nice to have them in the case. And I know I did an oil filter wrench and oil sensor socket set review. And I should have organized it with these. But uh, I'll get better at these YouTube <laughs> reviews someday. This is a 10-piece set. You have six pieces in half inch drive, four pieces in three eighths inch drive, so it's kind of an eclectic drive collection. Some of them have hexes like these three uh, sockets here. One's an oil sensor socket, one's a diesel uh, injector socket. The thin cut is just for the uh, fuel line to pass through on a diesel injector, but a lot of these are seven eighths or 22 millimeters and will certainly work for an oxygen sensor if you can pass the wire through. Let's go ahead and take a uh, closer look at these. Um, the sizes that you get are you get is you get a 7 8 standard oxygen sensor, you get a 7 8 uh, diesel fuel injector uh, socket. You also get a 22 millimeter, which is the same as 7 8 It's interesting that some of these are advertised as 7 8 some are 22 millimeter. Uh, another diesel injector socket. Um, and then a 22 millimeter, uh, which is the one I really bought it for, for oxygen sensors, was this socket. And then a couple of uh, wrench sockets is what I call these. Also a 22 millimeter or 7 eighths uh, for oxygen sensors. It'll be easier to show you the quality if I just lift them up a little closer to the camera. Maybe a little bit of zoom here. But they're actually made pretty darn well. Let's do this. Let's just pick up this one. But they're all pretty good uh, chrome vanadium. Uh, I don't, they don't have impact rated, but they're carbon finish. I guess if you're in a real tight spot, you could hit these with the impact wrench. Some of these, not the ones with the large gaps. Um, this is a 22 millimeter, and this is really what I got it for because uh, you can, sometimes you can't, but sometimes you can pass a connector through the center of the socket out through here. And that worked for me. And uh, it was a lifesaver because I had a power built one that's just like this, and it actually slipped. This actually expanded out and slipped. It was a turbocharged vehicle, so it was really stuck. And this socket got it out because it's totally closed on the end, and that's why I really appreciate it. Or if you have an oxygen sensor that you're replacing, you just cut off the wires and then put the socket over it. And that makes a big difference having the full loop uh, over that sensor. You can always use a deep well socket, but sometimes they're not quite deep enough, and that's why these are nice, is because of uh, their extra length. If we take a look at some of these diesel injector sockets, which we have a 27, a 28, and a 29 millimeter, I think I mentioned that earlier, um, they just have a small cutout, and since this size is more relevant to oxygen sensors, what's nice about using this on an oxygen sensor is that you actually have a hook over the last end, and you have more meat in the socket and a lot of times you can just pass the wire through this and then you have a much sturdier socket as you can see there's a, just so much more surface area in there uh, this is going to give you uh, a lot better uh, results that being said I've had several oxygen sensors where these sockets were just fine it's just when I had one slip I was seeking something a little bit uh, stronger and I saw this Harbor Freight set uh, the diesel injector sockets are a bit more cut out. What's interesting is how the 27 and the 28 millimeter are so much different. The 27 looks pretty heavy duty, has a thick belt, uh, where the 28 does not. But one thing that attracted me to these is if um, using them along with valve spring compressors or using custom you know, wooden dowels and, and rope, which I sounds weird, but I've seen and used that several times. And it's just a little special setup that you go and you use these for valves for pushing down valve retainers and doing valve stem seals without pulling off cylinder heads. And it sounds kind of funky and a lot of times it is. But if you actually take it seriously and do it properly with proper uh, polyurethane rope and all that kind of stuff and um, 
you can get away with using these as valve spring compressors or even when the cylinder heads are off it's real nice to have just a nice flat ring where you have easy access to get the retainers and I thought uh, how handy and they decided to include an oil sensor sockets the standard one inch and one and a sixteenth inch they didn't um, they just put one and a sixteenth they didn't mention that it's actually stepped and you can see that and it's just like these others it's about the exactly the same as the power belt but just a little bit deeper and then here's a OEM which is a half inch drive and it's quite deep and this is 3 8 and I forgot to mention this socket in my earlier review now we'll get to finally these oxygen sensor wrench sockets which I do like these things are very handy because they fit in the tight spaces and the way you can use them with the breaker bar uh, makes them much uh, much more effective I like this because of the small cutout so you get a nice grip on all four sides or all six sides excuse me and you get a little bit of extra meat although the weakness here is still these two corners one thing I will mention is they don't flute or don't put socket drive on the back it I would have thought they would have run it all the way through because I was used to that but they did not and that's the one real criticism of this set is all these pieces you can see they look very nicely made fluted drive end but they don't uh, run the socket all the way through so you can't run it backwards flush and that can be kind of an issue these do have extra leverage because you have this attachment is offset from where the sensor is so this is a small lever so when you use them with breaker bars um, you really get a lot of extra leverage the nice thing is is you can rotate them offset but the one complaint is on this one if you wanted to use it say this way you wouldn't be able to one nice thing is being able to underdrive them like this so you can use it becomes a flex wrench with the breaker bars and uh, this can make it really low profile and what I mean by that is here's a snap-on and the snap-on is a bit shorter so it just kinda adds to the set but the snap-on they put a hex on both sides the snap-on is also exactly the same height so that's some kind of standard height that they use but it has a little shorter beam and that would be the difference between a real nice one and of course a snap-on and so the snap-on allows you to drive it on the front face like this in certain situations and finally for this over detailed review of this set we have the second which is a half inch drive oxygen sensor socket the same issue that I have is they didn't flute it all the way through and the walls on this are a little bit thin so I would be careful on any kind of oxygen sensors that you think are going to be really jammed um, because this may have some trouble just it's really deep so there's a lot of material this way but they kind of took it away from how thin the walls are it's kind of surprising given the fact that they put a eight point drive and it is fluted it's surprisingly well made but the, of course the issue with the eight point drive is that it won't hold on to any breaker bars and what I mean by that is here's the Harbor Freight Breaker Bar and unfortunately it doesn't it, the Harbor Freight Breaker Bar has a big enough ball where it kind of holds on it uh, but otherwise you wouldn't the socket would just want to fall off what is really nice is versus all those other wrench sockets is because of the eight point drive you can have it at all these different angles twice as many at these 45 degree angles which allows a lot of extra versatility and uh, I really appreciate that and I don't know why they didn't do that on this one maybe they thought the flats were too small but uh, there are some eclectic decisions made when they manufactured these and they could have been gone from really a great set to or from a very good set to a great set if it weren't for some of those shortcomings and what I mean by that is here's another style of oxygen sensor socket and they could have included one like this where you can drive it from the end and so versus this also allows you to drive it from the top this is a blue point and you can't drive it from the bottom it's kinda of weird <laughs> the choices they made on this one but this allows you to actually have it pretty straight and uh, use a half inch drive and you can get a lot of extra torque I also really appreciate this blue point because of how extra thick the metal is or the walls excuse me 
here we go. The other nice thing about these end drives is because you can flex them either direction. It makes them a little bit more convenient to use. Uh, and if the oxygen sensor ever gives you a lot of trouble, you can just turn it 90 degrees and then use it as a wrench and, and just break that sensor off and use an extractor to get the inside out. I've done that once. I know it kind of sounds funny, but it, it got it out. So anyway, that was the review of this Harbor Freight sensor socket set. And I just wanted to show people that. And for the $40 price, if you're going out to get just an oxygen sensor, the nice thing about this is for uh, not much more money, 40 bucks, you get several oxygen sensors. And even if you're in a situation where you use one like this or and even break it because it's Harbor Freight, not only do you get the warranty, but right there you have alternative sockets to try to use to be able to finish the job. And that's what's kind of nice about this. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Catus Maximus out.